Good afternoon, LC people. Yeah, I've stripped quite a bit of the bits and pieces off the bike today. Um, waiting for bits, as you know, I've ordered uh, quite a few bits. But they won't be here till tomorrow, stroke Thursday. So, what have I done? I took the clocks off. I sorted the clocks out. Put another bottom plastic on that because it was all grazed up. Cleaned them all up. Tested them all out. And uh, yeah, the back, the top's not brilliant, but the bottom's better. So that's sorted that out. Um, the spare rear subframe, that got painted. The ears got painted up. Yeah, clutch perch, lever. The other rear for the headlight bucket. Front master cylinder. So they all got sort of cleaned up and painted up. I've took the loom off it. It's now uh, gone for the cleaning process. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the subframe that was on it was a sod to get off. It had been on that long. Uh, the bolts was a nightmare. I spent longer on that than it should have took. Um, and I still had uh, a bolt snap, which is a right pain. But job for another day. Um, I'll just put a new block on there for the mag because they was anyhow. They have that kind of crap going on on them. Um, I sold in shrink wrap that one because that one was as bad. Uh, so yeah, tomorrow we sort of loom. I've got the pipes to take off and paint. The radiator's got to come off. That's got to have a paint. The brakes have got to get resolved. Like I say, I'm waiting for stuff. But I think uh, it's going to rain tomorrow. So I'll shove my bike out and I'll work on here in the shed. And uh, hopefully I'll be a bit further along tomorrow. Like I say, I'm waiting for parts. So it's an ideal time to clean, tickle and fettle and pritter up as much as possible. Um, the tyres probably be here as well tomorrow or the next day. So I've, I'm, I'm not up against it. The guys are not fetching it for another probably nearly two weeks. So I can enjoy it without rushing. Not that I rush anyway, but it just means I don't have to spend all day every day in here. I can come out and just do and enjoy it slowly, which is nice. Anyway, folks, I'll keep you posted. But this is your part two of the Newcastle 350 LC. Keep watching. Dilly dilly.